What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Skook and Living. Today we got a pretty fun episode. Uh, we're talking about making beams and slabs and all that sort of thing. You know a lot of people think that uh, this is the only kind of sawmill there is. Something like this big and runs on tracks makes a whole bunch of lumber at the same time. But there are some other options that are cheaper. You can get something like this which is called an Alaskan chainsaw mill or a Granberg mill. Uh, and so what these do is these clamp onto a chainsaw in the front and back. You put either a ladder or a board or something down the top of your board and you can run that right along. With a big mill like that, you need a big chainsaw like this. And so this is the Steel 660, goes for about 1500 bucks. That's about three to 500 bucks for the mill. So you're looking at about 2000 to get into this particular type of mill. These work really well for making big slabs like this. End stands, uh, and if you just need a really big piece of wood to cut things out of, um, like in a camper building right now, um, used a big slab like this to be able to get a big piece of wood. But, you know, most people aren't gonna go spend 2,000 bucks to get into milling. And you don't need to spend 2,000 bucks to get into milling. milling. And uh, this is a really loud saw. The big still 660s. You can't exactly use this in my backyard uh, here in suburbia. So I got a new toy. It is this little beam uh, beam mill, I guess you could call it, or just a little mini chainsaw mill. This is only $30 on Amazon. And again, you need some sort of saw for it. And so to keep my neighbors happy. I got this little $100 Oregon chainsaw, self sharpening. All you need to do is plug it into an extension cord, put some bar oil, and away you go. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how to use this to, uh, you know, mill your own beams and lumber and whatnot. Uh, it takes a little longer, uh, but for 130 bucks it gets you into the game, which is pretty great. Uh, no need to have $2,000 worth of tools when you can just get all this on Amazon for 130 bucks, and you can be making your own lumber. Uh, so all this does is this clamps onto the saw blade right here and you don't want to go tighten it down too much because it'll break this thing because it was only 30 bucks. Um, so you just tighten it down. It's got these little three uh, screws in it. So we're just going to tighten them down. Just so they're all snug. They kind of dig into the bar a little bit but not too much. There we go. Now we make our way over to the pile of uh, trees that we have in the side yard over here. And I'll show you how to put our two by six and level that all out. And then we'll make a few rip cuts and we'll show you how to make a beam. So I got these two dunnage logs down and they're gonna be what helps keep this uh, tree off the ground. So when I run my saw down, it doesn't dig into it. Little house in a country wife, a big big table out on the lawn, a couple of kids and a couple of dogs. Work all day to half past five, chain link fence and grab the This is our guy to look for the smoothest, straightest two by six you can.
Alright, now that we got one flat surface, we're going to reattach this board to the top of it, and this will be our new guide to then rip the next 90 degree guide. So I hope this uh, unlocks the fear of milling wood for some people so that you can do it with a, a much smaller budget than that big one out on the street out there. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a, uh, a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.